Hey everybody, welcome to Screw It Let's Play, my name is Cody, and welcome back to Nightcry. And we finally got past that whole debacle of being stuck in the purgatory ending. So now, we need to give the, uh, the dude's wife the wedding ring. And uh, let's just get right into it, I'm excited to see what happens. Oh, already? I just <laughs> I just started the video. Fuck. All right. All right. They ain't fucking playing now. What the fuck are you doing, Rooney? All right. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Dude, that's fucked up. Go. 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 He's right on us. He's right on us. Fuck. I should have gone this way. Fucking a. We need. I don't know what the fuck room this is. Oh, Dude, you gotta be fucking kidding me. Can we go around the circle and fucking throw him off that way? Dude, I... This is... Come on, Rooney. She's gonna run out of fucking stamina. Let's go this way. Go this way. I ain't even playing. Not even playing. Let's go. Come on, Rooney. We gotta find that fucking kid's room. Okay. Okay, we're gonna use it in here because we haven't... Uh... Well, when I replayed... Rooney! Rooney, what the fuck are you doing? Jesus Christ. Okay, close. So we haven't used this one because when I replayed, I skipped this whole freaking segment because I wanted to save as many uh, as many hiding spaces as I could. All right, be quiet. And if he still gets us, that's fucking bullshit. No quick time events, just let me fucking get this free pass. Oh, and also, the first time that we run into him in the Rooney segment, we can actually go back into Jerome's room and hide under the bed. Now we need to head back up to uh, where the dart room is. And then uh, try to get back, or I'm guessing we're gonna go back to, you know, the reception area where the party room is. Because that's where the that dude's wife said that he will meet, meet uh, Monica. So maybe Monica will be there too. Maybe she's finally... Uh, no, get the fuck out of there. Maybe she'll be there also now. Oh, the banister's broken up here. Was that always like that? Hell, I don't remember. Okay, over here. I'm not making any mistakes. I'm just going straight back. Maybe we can't. Oh, fuck. We're... Wait, 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 wait. I wonder if we can go into theater two now, where the where the crying was, where the movie was playing. All right, there's somebody crying in there. I don't think it's the movie. Who the fuck is that? Well, we can't go in there, and we can't go back through there. All right. All right, maybe we do gotta check out the mannequin room. Maybe, maybe since he skipped it, it's not going to let us progress until we click on it. You know, I'm going to throw a quick save in since we're here. Alright. So because now, everybody who's still alive, especially Vigo, they're not in the, they're not in the cargo hold no more. They are spread out or hiding somewhere else. Probably went the wrong way. So maybe we gotta click on everything in here. Rooney! Jesus Christ! We looked at the mannequin. Rooney! What the fuck are you doing? Alright. Show these clothes. Okay. The clothes are out of line with the season of the region, most of them being uh, fall apparel. Like any anticipation of nights at sea, which are cold even around the equator. Okay. Oh, the racks. The rack's falling over now, so now I guess that means that we use that hiding spot. See, last time the monster was in here. Oh, shit! Angie? Oh, Rooney, don't scare me like that. You're in the shittiest hiding spot I've ever seen in my life. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't think someone would really be back here. Angie, are you okay? Your leg. I had a little run-in with that monster. Right now, I'm just happy to be alive. But you weren't taking refuge in the cargo hold. 
Yes, it was safe there. At least that's what everyone thought until it got in there with, with us somehow. That's because it can go through the walls and the ceilings and shit. And the others? I can't say. Everyone was preoccupied with just escaping, myself included. I hope everyone who hid in that cargo hold made it out, out of there. We have no idea what happened to them. That monster sent everyone into panic. We all scattered to get out of there. It was chaos. I was preoccupied, preoccupied with getting out of there safely. I didn't have a moment to take in what was happening to anyone else. No, no one would. Or no, no one would. Okay, now we can give her her husband's wedding ring. I hate to do this, but we gotta. Um, here. John's. It is John's. Did you find him? No, I got this from Monica. And John's... He's... He's dead. I, I thought so. I thought that might have been the case from the moment Monica answered John's smartphone. She must have held on to the phone for my sake, right? Yes, perhaps. No, she held on to it because she didn't have her phone. That's all I have left of him right now. Just getting this to me means a lot. What are you planning on doing next? I'm, I'm going to find a way to survive. I'm not sure if there's a way out of this situation or not, but as long as I'm breathing, I don't intend to stop searching. You're made of tough stuff, aren't you? Or maybe it's everything you've been through. I think you've changed since we met in the cargo hold. Here, this might be useful. A ball? A billiard ball, to be precise. The first mate was holding on to three of them when I found his body in the games room. He had three of them on him? Strange, right? This could be like in a movie when they leave a dead message. A dying message? Ah, oh, that's it. Maybe he was trying to tell us something. But it seems I lost the other two balls at some point when I was on the run. It makes sense. There might be something to it. I'll hold on to the ball. Did I say we needed three more balls after we found the two or just two more balls? We had two balls and I made a big joke about it. And then now we got one more. I think we needed a third ball. Alright, looks like we're done here. So we're going to go back to the uh, theater room. And uh, probably do another save. Now we have the VIP card the VIP card which should go to the elevator that's at the end of the hall up here oh, I don't remember okay that's where you went so if you go past the bar wasn't there an elevator at the end of that hallway I guess we'll find out in a minute yep alright VIP card for this bad boy so this is the VIP elevator very important personnel. Oh, well now what the fuck is gonna happen? This must be first class. I wonder if Rose and Jack are going to be fucking up here. Okay. Whoa. Whose fucking office is this? Is this Vigo's? Oh, look, what is this? A nondescript fleshy heap is sprawled across the floor. There is no telling what it might have originally been. It gives off a repulsive stench of blood and death. Oh god, the whole room must be fucking stinky. The table has been polished immaculately, but closer inspection reveals the faint imprint of blood trailing from the edge of the table towards the center. Well, it looks like this computer's got power. What are you... Hold on. Hold on here. I want you to see everything. It appears someone was working on this computer when Windows displaying text files and a machine translation website has been left open. That's uh, Russian, I think. Look like they were trying to translate some Russian text. Yep. 
Was the captain trying to decipher this text? Well, why don't we decipher it right now? It's still up there. A window displaying a Russian machine translation website has been left open on the screen. Okay, we can't do anything with that. No, no, no. I really don't want to look at this any longer. Rooney, get your ass over here. Right here. All right. The book is open on page where a passage of text and a date have been handwritten in by somebody. Almost definitely a diary. Upon closer inspection, the in entries on each page appear to have been signed Vigo Borisov. Vigo. Monica mentioned him, the ship's owner. With a few exceptions, most of the diary entries have been left written in acrylic characters rather than in English. I can't read Slavic characters for the life of me. So can we use the computer to decipher that? Oh, it looks like somebody was trying to translate the diary of a man called Vigo. The page displays text which reads like a clumsy machine <laughs> translation. My daughter, Yolanda, who carries the second one, will finally gain my child. Before this result was confirmed, how many days and nights were exchanged? My daughter, who carried the immoral child, should be or should have gained the right to exceed humans, next to Babylon the Great. Another one is the intelligent child Otto. Hugh is my son, is my grandchild and catalyst. In the water, that represents the people. A cocoon is reborn into a beautiful moth because Yolanda is waiting. Cut apart from this world and capture freedom, I can hear their joyous voices. That's fucked up. You take another look at the machine translation text displayed, displayed on the monitor. My daughter Yolanda, who carries the second one, will finally gain my child. Before the results was confirmed, how many days and nights were exchanged? I'm not entirely sure what this means, but it feels like something very immoral and, and ominous. So, let's get the fuck out of this room before Vigo shows up. So, whoa, what the fuck is this? Fucking Star Wars door? These round parts appear to be switches. Which of these should I press to open? Enter the passcode. Uh, I'm not good at riddles, man. This isn't going to work. I'm not getting anywhere by just guessing. So what am I missing? The fireproof door in this area appears more sturdy than any previously encountered. Well, if they've gone to such lengths to block the way off here, I'll bet this way leads to the owner's private quarters. I want to go there. Oh, billiards ball. There was something from K okay, Murder, gotcha, gotcha. That's the same shit. Right here, Saul. So we have the 9, 5, and 3. Okay. This is Saul, first mate, like I promised. I'm posting about playing snooker. It's best to start from a basic 9 ball game. Well, we have 1, 6. 1, 6. No. 5, 3, 9. So maybe these 3, if we hit these 3. Five, wait, five, three, nine. Look at that, I thought we had to do some with the fucking pool table. What is this fucking futuristic fucking door? Well, this must be Vigo's living quarters. The captain's. Alright, we are going to comb this room for everything. A framed picture. It appears to be an old family photo. God, they're so fucking monotone. What in the... It's the same as Jerome's family photo. Why would this be in Vigo's quarters? Oh, fuck. Vigo must be Jerome's dad. Maybe. 
Most of the book appears to be written entirely in Russian. I can barely decipher the titles in Russian, let alone read them. What else can we click on? Ice TV. Oh, we found a fucking beaker for sterilizing fucking eyes. A beaker and spirit lamp sit atop the desk. The beaker appears to be empty. Come to think of it, Monica said the ship's owner sterilized his false eye by boiling it. So these must be the utensils he uses for that. Fucking right. Alright, we got a globe here. Huh. Oh, shit! This couldn't be real skin, could it? Oh, that's fucked up. A human face is a paste has been pasted onto the surface of the globe. Perhaps this is your imagination, but the gaping eye sockets appear to be following you re relentlessly. Fuck. Notes and writing implements are scattered across the desk. These notes are all in Russian. I can't understand any of it. Each note seems to seems to list a recent time and date, though. Well, can we look at it anyway? Nope. Is this safe unlocked? How careless. Maybe they were distracted and forgot to close it. Well, let's look into it then. Oh, fuck, I'll take that money, that's for sure. What is this? Inside the safe, there is a velvet case with a white sphere packed inside it, which I would say would be an eye. It looks like the case originally housed two spheres. One of two indicated pet. One of the two indented pedestals is empty, so he's got two different ones he can pop in and out. Is this what I think it is? A false eye? No way! It's a real eye. The prosthetic eye is finally const is finally constructed on the back of it, where the optic nerve would normally be would normally be. Small writings is engraved in the circular information. I wonder what they mean. I've never seen letters like these before. I have, I have castatized. Can I take that cast too? In addition to the case containing the prosthetic eye, some dollar bill rolls have been carelessly tossed to the safe. I don't feel like stooping to theory even in these dire circumstances. Fuck, I would. Whoa. Uh, yeah. What the f- Okay, tell me something, Rooney. Alright, back to SNS. There was something else. Oh, look at that. <laughs> we got uh, APMFT. A more that, 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 that. So, um, we'll do APMFT. That's how I'm going to rem remember it. AFPMT. A F P M T No, okay, hold on here, hold on here. Short term memory is happening here. A P M F T E. And if I don't get it this time, then fuck I'm stupid. Alright, A for a more. P for whatever that says. I can't pronounce that shit. M. F. For Fama. T for Tempo. <laughs> God. And E for the last one. Enter. Bada bing. Going to this fucking creepy ass hidden. Oh, hell no. Turn that flashlight off. I don't want to fucking do anything. You know, I don't think Jerome is as fucking nice as he seems to be. I think he's an evil fuck. Alright, alright. Down the ladder, I guess. I think Vigo is Jerome's dad, and they're all, and Scissor Walker is, fuck, I don't know. I have no idea who Scissor Walker is. He's, uh, he's the bad guy. <laughs> Alright, we 
we can't go any further. Oh, fuck. What? Oh, fucking A, dude. Oh, hell no. Is this all the passengers? Oh, fuck. Dude. Dude, no way. That's fucking... Fucking awesome. Is there anything I can click on? Okay, we can click on something over here. Everyone's. Yeah, they're fucking dead, but oh my god. Oh no, this is Jessica. Oh fuck. Oh, Jessica. Man, that's fucked up. Wait, there's a there's a live dude standing there. Is that fucking Vigo? Oh shit. Okay. All right. I'm surprised to think someone outside our brotherhood has made it this far. Wait. I know you. That's right. I'm Vigo Baratsov. The owner of this ship. We met in the cargo hold, Rooney. A belated greeting. Oh, Welcome fuck. Welcome to the Oceanus. I hope you enjoy your cruise with us to our eternal paradise. Oh, that means you ain't going nowhere. No! Let go of me! Oh, this, no. this is the ritual. Don't struggle, Rudy. Father is going to take us to eternity. Uh, I bet he is, you fucking loony. Wait. Huh? That voice. Huh. <laughs> yeah, Monica. You okay, Rooney? Monica, what are you doing here? I told you I would be right behind you. Uh, Jerome? Jerome, I knew it! Forget about him. It doesn't matter how much of a big shot celebrity he is if he's lost his mind. Come on, you guys. Stupid door! Why won't you open? <laughs> I left it was unlocked the whole time. Okay, uh, well, we got the fucking eye. Okay. Uh, Rooney, you gonna let them kill you? You still haven't let go of your death wish? You're right. Sorry, Monica. I'm gonna survive. No matter what it takes. No matter the cost. Rooney? Are you serious? She just ripped her fucking eye out? I don't th oh, fuck, I don't think so, man. Revenge is yours. Destroy the man who turned you into a monster. Ah, uh, he's the fucking child that was supposed to be superior. Can't be. 
No! No! This, this can't be! Wait! No, 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 wait, wait! I knew we were, we were getting close to the end. What's going on with everybody? According to uh, Wikipedia here, we got the only happy ending. So we got the best ending, which I guess this game kind of makes it a little, a little easier to, to track with the blue and the red lines showing you, hey, you made a mistake here, so now you're going to go down here, where the original clock tower, you would have to know that or play the game over and over and over again to figure it out. But uh, God, I hope you watch, uh, liked watching this series. Um, Give us a thumbs up. Give us a subscribe, please. And, you know, I'm not sure what I'm, what I'm going to play next. I want to make a compilation of all the endings, just so you can see with a little explanation on if you missed this and if you missed that. But as for right now, I'm happy with the best ending of the game. I think that's for a uh, let's play a playthrough. That should probably be the best course of action is run down the game and get, you know, the best ending. So looking at some of these other endings, you know, since we're on the topic, uh, if we did not grab the artificial eye from the safe, uh, we would have no option but to stand helplessly. And the Scissor Man will kill me, will kill Rooney and Jessica. And then it looks like it looks like Vigo is the one w waiting for that for the uh, helicopter, which I'm guessing. Vigo does something to sabotage everybody so that he is innocent when they come. But, once again, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time. See ya.